Hi, I'm Alex at HD Labels and today we're going to unbox the Epson C4000 colour label printer. So before I start, the C4000 comes in two versions, one with either a matte black or I've got a gloss black here. So the advantage of the matte black is on plain and matte paper you get a darker black. Um, most commonly, we, to be honest, we sell it with the gloss black. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be setting mine up with the gloss black. Um, so let's get it unboxed. So when you first open the box, we have two bits of card padding. We have our black ink. So yeah, I've got my gloss black ink and then our accessories box. We'll open this and go through this shortly. So the foam comes off and the printer is very well packaged. It is heavy. Let's get rid of this. So here is our C4000. There we go. Right, so let's have a look what you get with the machine. So we've got the printer, obviously. We have our black ink. In here, I assume we have our startup guide. We have our standard cartridges, so cyan, yellow, magenta. Got a hefty power pack. We've got our UK and European power cables, USB cable. This looks like a sample roll of labels. And then in here, that's our plastic guide for the printer. So that's everything that comes in your kit. So the next step is to take all the packaging materials out of the printer. So on the top, there's a warning that tells us, if I remove this. So the LED flashes during the ink charging and print head cleaning. So never take the following action. So don't open the covers or turn off the power. So if I remove the tape, then this lever should lower the front. And again, we can take out the foam. And I think there's some tape. So this is where our label roll will sit inside. So you'll see that's adjustable. And that will clamp the labels, hold them tight. So you can close the printer up to so the machine is now ready to turn on. You see where our inks would go? Yeah, but we're good to go. So we've only got the power connected, no USB or anything at the moment. So power's connected, we then press the button on the front of the machine and it will come to life. So upon first startup, you ask, it asks you which language, so we'll choose English. Turn on daylight savings. You can enter the date so we'll do the date and time format. So it's the 2nd of the 8th, so it's correct already. We'll do a 12 hour time format. We set the time. This is where we specify if we're having a gloss or a black ink. So once you commit to this, you are committed. So we're gonna choose a gloss black ink. So gloss black ink is selected. Done, so now it tells me to go through the motions, shake the ink cartridge about 15 times before installing it. We're gonna start with the black ink. So here we go, comes in the box as so. So, open it up. So it should be in a sealed pack, any new cartridges should be sealed. There's a small tear at the top, which allows you to rip open the pack. There's your cartridge. So pull down the front, and then there's only really one way the cartridge will go in. So the cartridge is in, so we'll put all of the toners in now. So all of our toners are in. Close the front back up. Close. So initialization starts, so install the cartridges. 
So we say they're installed. Ink cartridge is installed correctly. Start the initialize, initialization. So the, it says it warns you the black ink type cannot be changed after this point. So you either commit to gloss black or matte black. So it says the initialization will take about 19 minutes. So it's probably time to go and put the kettle on, I think. <laughs> 